So let's look at another example just like that one up above. Before I get going, I want you to try part A here. That's using the formula like we introduced in class and I just did the one before it. So go ahead and hit pause and see if you can get the monthly payment. Um, and just so you feel a little bit better, my monthly payment should be $1,046.90, just so you know if you're on the right track. All right, coming back from pause, I'm gonna write up the steps for this one. I'm plugging in all my information that was given to me up above. Ooh, that didn't come out very well. Let me try again. My interest rate is 0 0.09 divided by 12, 1 minus. Just remember on the bottom, go ahead and add that interest rate there. Don't put the plus sign. Just go ahead and squish them all together. And that's for 25 years. Typing in the just the numerator, then just the denominator, don't round yet, then the whole thing, and this is the step where I can round, gives me that monthly payment. Now, if you think you're ready, you can hit pause again and try to fill out the, for the chart. If you don't think you're ready, I'm going to do another one right now. And then there's one more for you to practice. So you will get another chance to do it on your own. The interest payment is the numerator. So the interest payment, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And I can round it for here, because this is an answer. So I can go ahead and round that one. The principal payment is what I paid, my monthly payment, minus how much the bank took for their own profit. The balance of the principal is what I owed at the beginning of this month, minus how much just got applied to my loan. So it should be less. I should owe less money now. Very similar for the next line. I do have to recalculate everything. So I'm going to do that real quick. So in my, I don't owe $124,750 right now. I owe a little bit less. So I'm going to have a new numerator. Oops, $124,638.73. My interest rate's the same. I'm going to type that in my calculator. It should be a little bit less than what I had before. It should be close, though. So you kind of know if you're in the right ballpark. My monthly payment is the only thing that's going to stay the same. My monthly payment's always going to stay the same. But now the bank's going to take a little bit less for themselves. So this should go up. Again, not a whole bunch, but a little bit. At the beginning of the month, I owed that much money. I gave the bank, put some toward my principal. So now I owe a new amount. And there's my first two lines of my amortization schedule. How much interest? We've done several of these. This one I do want you to maybe try, give a shot. It's just like C up here above. So hit pause, try to give part C here a shot before we go over it. Coming back from pause, and if you haven't hit pause, go ahead and do it. It's my monthly payment every month for 25 years. That gives me my total amount. That's the total amount that I gave into the bank over a 30 year period. The bank originally gave me 124,750. The difference between those two tells me how much interest and that's because the total amount just to remind everybody we've seen this a couple times in different sections in class and in other videos is equal to the original amount the principal plus the interest so if I want to know just that interest I subtract the principal from both sides <laughs> 